girl Brandy. It's your dog, Cedro. And today we're doing another cooking video. Our first cooking video. In, in, in the new house. Right? Yeah, in the new yeah, house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so y'all get to come on, follow us on this journey. This should be oh, interesting. Uh, we're making them tacos. The dip tacos. The one you're giving this off. <laughs> yeah. They like call, I think they call burrios or yeah. burrios. I don't heard somebody say birria. I don't heard them say burria. The taco you dip in this. The dip tacos, pretty Yo, much. So. so, um, what we need is we, we need got, the chuck roast. We got chuck roast. It called for a four pound chuck roast, but it ain't number two of us. I'm gonna drop the y'all thought it. Yeah. <laughs> we got two pound chuck roast. So. That's gonna be enough for us. We got chuck rolls. We got some garlic cloves. We got some cinnamon sticks, cause that's what the, uh, the ingredients say. We have bay leaves. We got bay leaves. We got leaves. Um, these are called ancho, ancho, A-N-C-H-O, chili. And these are called Chili Guayajillo, G-U-A-J-I-L-L-O. I'm trying to focus it so y'all can see. Okay, we got those. And we got some more chilies. This one is Arbo Chilies. Let me focus that one so y'all can see. And we got some Sazon Seasoning. We have most importantly the corn tortillas. You need corn tortillas, not flour. Corn. We corn. And we got the adobo. We already got that on the chuck roll seasoning. Yeah, so it can marinate. And what is this one? Beef stock. Yeah, beef bouillon, whatever. Tomato bouillon. Tomato stock. <laughs> and chicken stock. Okay. Yeah. And. All that we got. That's all. That's what. We, that's what we got. And we're yeah. gonna, like I said, we, we already, already got the, um, you know, of course, wash the meat. This and we here. got the adobo on the meat seasoning. This is the all-purpose one, y'all. Yeah. The all-purpose adobo, cause they got a lot of them. Yeah, get the all-purpose one. So right now we got the. Let me see. We got the cast iron. We got the cast iron on the stove. So we about to sear. We gonna brown it. We gonna brown it on each side. Yeah. I don't know if it's hot or not. Oh, it's hot. So we're gonna let this sear, and then we're gonna show y'all step two. This step one, we're gonna show y'all step two. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, BC gang, we browned it on both sides. And we forgot to tell y'all that you need two onions cut in half. So, we're about to put this in a pot of water and get it right so y'all stay tuned when you like that. So, we're going to cover the meat, y'all. And then, over here, we got five five ancho chilies, five guajillo chilies, and we got four of these chilies, they arbol, two onions, and five garlic cloves. And then after that, we gonna start seasoning. So we just gonna drop this in here. All right, we got the stuff in the pan, all the chilies, you know, we got three different types of chilies, onions and garlic. I like that's it. And then we got this. Tell what we got. We right. got um, three to four bay leaves, two cinnamon sticks, and a tablespoon of each chicken, tomato, and um, what was the other one? Beef. Beef. Um, beef stock seasoning bouillon, however you want to call it. And two of these. And then the black pepper, we couldn't really measure that, so it's just black pepper to have a much you like pepper, I guess. And you just pour these in here. 
and we're gonna we're gonna let it simmer for one hour with the top on and then we'll come back oh you gonna put some pepper in there yeah, let's do pepper. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, it's been an hour since it's been simmering. And now we about to take all the chilies out, the onions, the peppers and stuff. Let me back up and unfold the camera. Let me wipe y'all out, hold on. Alright, there we go, we back. But yeah, we about to take all this stuff out. We're gonna put it in the blender, blend it up, and we'll be back with y'all in a minute. Taking it all out. We're gonna take it all out and then we're gonna come back. I'm pretty sure y'all don't wanna see all this. Alright, we got it all in our blender. What thing what you think? I'm gonna put it on low and put it on what? Grind, chop. What do you think? Mmm. What about puree? We just got it grinded up, y'all. We, we just put it on post. Make sure everything get up, grind it up real good. Y'all could use a food processor also. It really, you're supposed to use a food processor, but we don't got it, so. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. But that wouldn't look like And it's gonna give us our sauce. Right, this is gonna make the little dipping sauce. Right. So, we're gonna let that sit. And while we letting that sit, we do still have the meat on. The meat on. So you still gotta cook the meat for about two hours. Yeah, probably like another hour or so. Okay. Another. It's been on already. So, probably like another hour. Oh, hour and a half, yeah. Until it get good and tender. Oh, right, so where it's done. Cause it's, it's shrunk, y'all. Yeah, it was big. So, I guess that's why they say get a four pound. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't never me. Me and her, so it's all good. We don't need all that meat. So, after that. We'll um, get back to y'all. Once the meat get done, we can show y'all what it look like. Once it's falling off the bone. And we'll see y'all. Okay, y'all, so now what we did was the mixture that we had in the blender. We poured it in here and strained it so it can become this. It should be like a this kind of consistency, like, it shouldn't be like pasty. But once we got the paste, we made, we strained it and we got the, the goody goodness off of it. And now, we shredded the, the beef, cause it's finished. And then we'll start, um, this gotta go back in the broth for a little bit, let it simmer. Yeah, let it simmer. And then we could dip the corn tortilla. In the broth we got, and uh, not fry it, but I guess you can call it fry it or cook it. Put it on the griddle. Yeah. On the griddle. Yeah, put it on the griddle. Yeah. So we'll get back to y'all when we doing that. Alright, YouTube. We added the Chuck roast back into the broth. You can add a little more water too if you want, if you need. We added a little water. And now we about to dip the corn tortillas in there and put 
put them on there. So y'all see in a minute. All right, y'all, we're gonna dip the tortilla. I've tore it up. Be careful with it, don't tear it. Make sure your griddle is on low. And then come over here and eat some meat. Mm. Alright, y'all. Alright, you get your meat. You think that's enough meat? Mm-hmm. We got mozzarella cheese. That's why he's the master. Shredded mozzarella cheese. Okay, y'all, this is what we got so far. We got two over here. Oh, one over here. Some right here. And yeah. It was good. I'm ready to taste it. Alright, I'm gonna go home and just sit here looking at it. And then the only thing we'll have to do after the tacos get done is put the sauce in the bowl. And then bon appetit. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. This is what we got. This is what we came up with. This is. Oh, that look good. If I say so myself. But enough of that. We're about to eat. So. Put them back right there. And we'll put y'all up. I'll dip the sauce. Okay, so. Live tasting. Right. Now, we ain't even tried these in nowhere. Nah, we, cause we really don't know where they cook them at. We haven't even went to like a restaurant and got them, so. In our area, so we, yeah. we just tried it ourselves. Right, live tasting. Let me see which one you want. Mm, well, I, I kinda gotta get this one, cause it's like in the way of the rest of them. I mean, for some people, if you don't like spice, I'm that person. You know, right now. If you don't like spice, then I don't like nothing hot, y'all. So if I say it's not hot, then it it's not hot, but it got it got a look. It got mm. a kick to it. It got a look. Mm. Probably from all them chilies we put in there. Definitely, but it's so good. He's too smart. That's why he's the master. Yeah, y'all yeah. have to try this. Sure. So we'll leave all the instructions and the ingredients. ingredients in the description box below. And y'all go to try this at home. I it. recommend it. Highly recommend it. Because this is busting. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. 
Right. We have to go just see if we can. We can't just discredit the restaurant. But it's good. And it's home cooked, so. Right. It makes it even more better. But we finna eat, so. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. For sure. Turn your post notification bell on. And if y'all enjoyed this video, drop some comments down below and let us know how we did. Make sure y'all give us a thumbs up. And y'all try it at home. And let us know how it come out when y'all try it. For sure. And we'll see y'all in the next video. We out.